Welcome to the center of it all. This week, I'll show you an event that is full of delicious food from all around Center County. Mel is making a juicy burger, and a group of Center County residents are taking a giant leap for a great cause. All that and more coming up. On November 24th, the Penn Stater will be hosting a fundraiser that showcases different food establishments from all around Center County. Taste of the Town is a culinary event that helps support the United Way. Taste of the Town is a chance for local restaurants to present their unique menu items to the community while raising money for a great cause. For the vendors, it gives, when people come to this event, <coughs> they, they can taste Get tastings from all the different vendors, but also it lets them experience the food from those vendors. A lot of them they've never gone to their establishment, so it'll let them go to that vendor in the future, is what we're hoping for. There are usually about 32 food establishments at Taste of the Town. In the past, they've had Cozy Thai, The Tavern, Federal Tap House, and Valley Girl Cafe. You know, they're great establishments. They're super supportive of the event, which we really greatly appreciate because it is a big fundraiser for the Center County United Way. Uh, and the general public, I think, generally just look forward to it every year. It, it originally started in 1997 by the AIDS Project, but in 2011, it was turned over to Center County United Way. Big key point of it is um, showcasing uh, the Center County United Way. It's good for people to see what that organization is doing for our community. It's important. It's what gives us the uh, sustainability in our community. Um, so that would be another key point that we hope people get from Taste of the Town. The community looks forward to this event every year, and it is usually held right before the holidays and gives everyone a chance to get together. Just a nice event. A lot of people will they just, you get a table, you sit with your friends, you sample the foods, you go back as many times as you want, and uh, you get to meet a lot of different people. It's just a very low-key, relaxed event. There's no agenda to the event. It gives us a time to kind of get together uh, and catch up with other community members that we don't see all the time. Uh, the uh, members of the United Way staff uh, that we don't always get to see and, and have a good time with, uh, the volunteers that help with uh, Taste of the Town, we get to, you know, hang out with uh, and share stories, um, you know, during the event. So that's, that's always a really fun time for us. In addition to the food, there is also different competitions and a silent auction. Some of the displays, they really try to outdo each other on some of the displays. I mean, I know they're only giving tastings, but we have contests where they judge the displays and the presentation. And some of the restaurants really go out of their way displaying their food. The uh, people that own the food establishments here locally, it's a one time that they're all together. So they got to have a good time tasting each other's foods that they prepared. Uh, and get to talk and share family stories and things like that. So it's kind of like a family affair. You know, there's no getting around it. Taste of the Town is a community event. It's generally all locals uh, that attend this, this event. Um, so it's just fun for everybody. Tickets for this event are available until November 20th. And if you would like some more information about Taste of the Town, you can go to ccunitedway.org. Coming up next, we'll be taking a look at some brave community members who are preparing to take a big jump. 